Welcome to All Things Internet. I'm your host, Rachel Ballinger. This is a show where we talk about things that have to do with the internet or basically just whatever I see on the internet that week. We do not fact check or research anything. My co-host today is the same co-host that was last week, my brother, Christopher. It's me. Am I the first go- uh, guest host that you've brought back? I think so. Yes. What an honor. There is an extra mic here in case the really pregnant lady over there in the corner wants to pop in. She's allowed to, but she's really pregnant, you guys. So I don't think she's going to. We're talking about my sister-in-law, Jessica, Christopher's wife. That's all. She's eating carrots over there. She thinks that you guys can hear her, but you cannot. (laughs) You need to use the microphone. (laughs) She's not. She's eating a carrot. You can (laughs) chew that carrot as loud as you want, Jessica. No one's going to hear it. (laughs) Anyway. It is Monday, so happy Indigenous People Day. Happy that indigenous day. Indigenous people. Have yes. you ever said the word indigenous? Indigenous, yes. Indigenous, all right. Yes. I haven't really said it much, because it's a new holiday, yeah. replacing an old holiday. I'm happy about it. Me too. That's why I said happy Indigenous People Day, not the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Those outside of America might be pretty confused. Yes. Well, we, we had a holiday... That celebrated a kind of a bad person. <laughs> someone that discovered. I'm using air quotes on the podcast right now. <laughs> Isn't it America. Great? <laughs> and so we we celebrated that. And now we're celebrating the people that were here first, which yeah, I think is probably th- that's a little better. I feel they they had already discovered the land that was rightfully theirs that they were born on and you know lived on and didn't kill anyone to get. So we should celebrate them. Yeah, <laughs> that's all good stuff. You know it's not good stuff, Christopher. <laughs> I lay it on me. The Dolan twins broke hearts of million million. Oh, you can't even can't say it with say. a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> That's how serious it is. The Dolan twins mm-hmm. posted that they will no longer post weekly videos. What? This is news to me. This is news to you. Yes. They did a video with so Shane sad. Dawson, and they were like, "Listen." For our mental health reasons, we've just burned out. We just feel like we constantly have to be on. It was an hour-long video. I didn't watch it. I just read the highlights on Twitter because that's what I do. (laughs) Um, So they were just like, yeah, we can't post weekly videos anymore. Apparently, they're posting once a week. I did not know their schedule. They're posting once a week, and they're like, we can't do it anymore. It's too much. Wow. They're a little late to the burnout party. Yeah, they are. You know what? They held on pretty long. I've noticed the younger you start, the more likely you are to burn out. Well, yeah, because you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Absolutely no idea. Or how to make boundaries happen. Yes. And I feel like those are things you have to learn through experience. And when you're young, you don't have as much experience. And when you're young, I don't think you should be working that hard. I feel like you should be school, get a side job, sure. But like YouTube, to be a YouTuber is a full, full full-time job. Yeah. And they... It's they did the it hardest young. job that looks the easiest, I think. Yeah, because it is our job to make it look easy. Yeah, and you know, if you vlog the bo- like the hard parts, it's just kind of boring. So it looks either boring or a lot of fun. Yes, <laughs> it doesn't look hard at all. No. Whatever. You know who does no boundaries though? Who who knows boundaries? <laughs> Jenna Marbles. Okay. She hit twenty million subscribers. Good for her. For her ha- her celebration video. She took a 20-minute nap on camera. Nice. <laughs> she straight up was See, like... See, that's old-school YouTube right there. <laughs> that is old-school YouTube. That is someone who knows boundaries, knows how not to get burnt out. She's been posting one video a week for... I don't even know how long. I don't remember. I think she started in like 2009, 2010. I don't know. She's Almost been 10 a years. staple of the platform for She forever. has. And she was like, I hit 20 million subscribers. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> I was streaming on Twitch when I got a notification. Everyone was like, Jenna posted. I was like, it's two in the afternoon. How did she get her video up this early? Because, you know, she films, edits, and posts on the same day. And then I looked and it said taking a nap. And I was like, my God. I That's love awesome. her. Have I you, love Have her. you experienced the burnout? Yes, but I just power through it. Mm-hmm. Um, there's another YouTuber, Nia Higa. How do you say his name? Nia Higa. Nia Higa. Higa. Yeah. Is that yeah. it? I don't ever how to say his name. He's like, he's an OG YouTuber and he just posted a video explaining why he hasn't been posting videos. Uh, he's been posting his like podcast, but no like really creative stuff. And he basically said, I got, I got fed up with YouTube and I was, I got burned out because he was a part of the original YouTube where mm-hmm. it was just like, you make something fun with your friends, you post it, doesn't matter how long it is, how long people engage with it. It's just like, you love it, you post it, you're good to go. And he was like, I 
he was like, I couldn't post short videos anymore because YouTube wouldn't show them. They only show long videos. And then he was felt the need to continuously post post things because that's how YouTube is set up now. And he was like, but I was putting out stuff I didn't love. And he was like, this whole thing was to make videos with my friends that, you know, sustained our living, not to get rich and famous, but it was just like to just have so much fun. And he goes, and I posted videos the last three years where they didn't make me laugh. So he's like, I need to take a break. Yeah, the algorithm really dictated how, how yeah. we, we manufactured things. Like yeah. it, it became less about creation, more about manufacture. And I think that is what, I don't, if YouTube stayed how it was, if they never messed with the algorithm, I don't think burnouts would happen as often. There was a there was a time period where we noticed certain trends starting up and things in, in our space, in the family space. Mm-hmm. And we quickly realized that like it wasn't going to work for us and we just had to do our own thing in our own time frame yes. instead of what was getting like the massive viral hits yeah and i'm so glad we did that like it, it was really a slow growth for us because of that but um but I, I, we didn't experience the burnout in the same way like we we kind of saw it coming and we were like okay we're gonna it was before the burnout thing yeah. happened. I think we were experiencing it at the same time. And instead of pushing through the way everyone else did, we just sort of were like, Regress okay, yeah, let's, let's just, let's take care of our family and like, just be a family yeah. instead of chase these numbers. Yeah. It's, it is, I, I try and still do stuff that I find entertaining. Yeah. I won't do stuff where it's like, I don't get why this is like, I, I don't, I never got into this huge slime phase mm-hmm. or just like stuff where I was like, I don't find that entertaining. I'm not going to do it. Um, but it definitely would always kind of hurt the soul a little bit when I post something I really liked and enjoyed, but the algorithm didn't like and enjoy yeah. it. So no one watched it and you're like, I just put so much time and effort into that. And that's what, um, Nia Higa was talking about was like, he would, he, when he did put out stuff he loved, he, it wouldn't get the views. And then when he put out throwaways, it always get the views. And I feel like that's what Colleen and I talk about that all the time. We're like, yeah. our throwaway videos go viral. And it's like, we made this, we didn't care about it. We threw it out there. And for some reason that worked and Mm -hmm. the stuff we truly love and are passionate about gets no views. And it's just like, it does hurt your creative side. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think where the burnout comes, comes in. And seeing that something works and then you have to like do it again, but a little harder than you did the last time, you know? And, and I feel like a lot of people went down that road as well. Where it's just like, they were building this mountain that was just too big for them to sustain. Oh Yeah. Uh, Casey Neistat that's why he stopped doing daily vlogs which was like he was like every day I had to do something bigger yeah and I couldn't do it anymore yeah. so he took a break but um he says that he's been working on videos during his break that he's actually really enjoyed doing and they just take him three four months to film and like then another month to edit because he posts intense really really cool videos that he has fun doing so he's he gave a little clips of those and I'm excited to see him. One's like stop motion, stop go animation. What is it called? Stop stop, mo- stop motion? motion animation. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He did. He showed a clip of that, and I was like, oh my god. What did he do? Was it it's clay his, or was it like it's? He just showed it. It's his. Uh, he has like some drink that okay. is his brand, and it kind of like arms start coming out of it, That's and fun. then like start it opens itself, and I was, I love how I'm doing it. Like I am stop motion. Yeah. <laughs> It, you can't see it, but she got really jerky there for a second. Her motion was not fluid. I got glitchy. Anyway, so he posted that, and it's like, I feel like there's just going to be more and more burnouts, and I feel like there isn't, I feel like the OGs that stay true and just post what they like are the only people that aren't going to burn out, but again, they aren't going to get views, are they? I mean, Jenna Marbles will always get views. She I took a nap and got views. 3 million views. They'll get views but maybe not the same numbers that they're w- that they were used to or hoping for. Yeah. And I, it, part of you just kind of has to be okay with that. I feel like if to survive. To survive. <laughs> it's like a survival yeah. mechanism. Like be okay with it not getting the massive views and yeah. and enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. I had a I have a friend who uh she's a teacher and doesn't do anything with youtube but she says she watches jenna marbles videos just because she's like i feel like i owe her it because she entertained me for so many years that she every week i go on every thursday i go on just to watch her video and she's like i don't watch any other youtubers i don't know anyone i don't it's know like, anyone else's it's like names a television show that's in its sixth season yes and you've, you've watched <laughs> the like, first five and you're to. like this is terrible but i'm gonna <laughs> i'm not like, saying jenna marbles is terrible i'm saying like it's like one of those yeah you're just like you, you have to do it, it because you you have to Okay, someone just flushed a toilet, and I hope the no one can hear it. it up. If you couldn't hear the carrots, <laughs> if you couldn't hear you the sh- carrots, you shouldn't have pointed it out. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was just so loud. It kind of felt like one of the airplane ones, where it just like you feel like you're gonna get sucked down with it. <laughs> 
We did install those in our house. So. <laughs> Just that wasn't going down. Um, all right. Here is, I have two things that are, nope, three things that aren't internet related at all. We're just switching subjects. The cool. toilet threw me. Um, not internet related, but Simone Biles is amazing. Is amazing. She is now the record holder for the most medals of a, a female Olympic gymnast human. She's, she's the one that like the videos have been coming out lately that are like, how is, that's not a human thing. Yeah, it's not do. a human thing. She's getting moves named after her because she's like creating or doing moves that no one thought were possible. That's awesome. So she is one medal away from tying the female slide. The, the, there's a guy that has all of the medals. He has the record for the most and she's one medal away from beating him. That's and awesome. Right now she's the most medal held for a female. I don't know why these words are hard for me. I never talk about Olympics. So saying metal, I think is difficult. Metal, gymnastics. Metal, gymnastic, Olympic. Floor routine. <laughs> Flipping. I don't know. Um, also internet, re- not internet related, but I thought it was cool because I'm in support of this. I don't know if you are. We haven't talked about this ever, Christopher, but. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good place. We're it's a nice public just, spot to like a, bring it up. It's a little political, okay. but it's not like not political but california becomes the first state ever to ban private prisons and private detention centers therefore have you do you know anything about the i don't i don't know about the private prison system they're terrible because it's a money-making scheme and they put contracts on the state being like there has to be this many inmates Mm. in the prison and if you go under you owe us more money and so people though people will get put in prison for nothing but they just need to fill the prison spots or people will get held in prison even though like they've reached their sentence and they've been good they won't get released and it's because of some quota yeah that, for they wow. have quotas no so, i haven't heard of this that sounds it's, really terrible it's terrible um i've read a lot about it and watched some stuff on it but i'm really glad this is the first uh, state that's ever done this and it's going to take place by 2028 2028 2028 it's gonna take eight years well because you what are you gonna do you have to like transfer oh, yeah, you the prisons get, yeah, so you, you can't just like there's like poof. a bunch of people yeah that, there's humans yeah. involved here uh-oh. that's what california uh-oh. is saying i was just gonna go up, say uh oh i turned your mic there's water on this chair well, do you just want me to wipe get... it up with your butt i'm, I'm gonna sit on this and run all your side just well, jessica's for those, joining us yeah. but i'm not joining you that's the whole for point. those just <laughs> listening jessica oh. sat closer to us she has a microphone in front of her now but she's not she she's said she's not to gonna say use this. this. No, I was just gonna say I'm going upstairs with my pregnant stuff. Oh my god, they got to say hello to you. But you I thought just... I'd say hi. Am I doing it right? I can't tell what's going on. <laughs> you just, did it. You're fine. <laughs> you're the second co host replacement co host yeah. ever to be on it twice. If so. only I had sat down here earlier. I know you yeah. could have been number one. Or tied. Or tied. Or tied. Yeah. So there's that. Do you have anything else you want to ask me? Because um, I didn't want to talk about the prison thing. I'll talk about this with you. New York became the first state to require ingredients lists on menstrual oh, yes. products. I saw that. And I think that's great. We're making moves. Yeah, it's you, important. It you is important. You should know what you're putting in your body. You really general, should. General facts. Now, usually I have a sponsorship for like an all natural organic cotton tampon, but we don't have that sponsor today. We have a different sponsor today. Or the other one that we did together, remember? The birth control website. Oh, yeah. So we're in support of keeping your hoo-ha safe, y'all. <laughs> business okay i'm all about ingredients in general <laughs> like general ingredients how do you feel about that i'm happy i'm happy for you ladies <laughs> thank but you also you know we should know what we're doing yeah we should know the ingredients and everything yeah. even if you know when i'm looking at food if i can't pronounce one of the ingredients or i don't know what it is i usually think oh that's probably not good for me i shouldn't eat that you know if you, you do the a, pronunciation test. Yeah, and I'm like, what's a number four? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, if there's a number after <laughs> if it. If there's a number, it's not good for Generally. Anybody. I wonder if there's a number in our tampons. Yes. We should go to New York and find out. <laughs> yeah. All right, you going to go now or you want to hang I out? I think, I don't know. I was all, all JoJo covered her Tesla in her face. Yeah, I know. It looks really cute. It does. I said, how'd you pick that picture? And she goes, it's my favorite one. So good. Good for her. she just got her face a hundred times on her Tesla. Her cars are always very well decorated. Oh, yeah. They're very like every little detail. Has oh, gone yeah. Into those cars. Yeah. I was like, why did you redo it? And she goes, the other one wasn't loud enough. But I said, OK. <laughs> so, I'm trying to figure out, like, is this what you wanted for me? To just if I was here for it to be behind my back. Or, like, am I supposed to turn? <laughs> you're supposed to just be like sitting like Christopher does. But I don't think oh, so that is my your fault, baby huh? can't allow you to. I, yeah, we but can am move. I supposed to move it yeah, like move this? It. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> no, whoa, I'm not. Whoa, whoa. I'm ruining so, the whole podcast. Jessica just has just ripped a well, microphone out of the table. Chair closer. I was to what the plan was if I was to instead sit of down. moving a microphone, I move the chair. 
That's impossible. She's too pregnant. It, it's on like an adjustable <laughs> stand, Rachel. But the it's stand fine. is like only twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's fine. We're good. I'll probably I'll probably I'm gonna keep listening for like one or two. How did Christopher do his so well? How is yours looking what I'm like saying, this? Like, is this turned? How did you do this, Christopher? So so okay. Hold on. I'm gonna. <laughs> no, this is. I'm gonna. I just. I'll just go. This is not... Wait. <laughs> but I do this notice that so... you brought a game. So yeah, it's Mad Gab. <gasps> Christopher, how did you do that? Go on, Christopher. Just did magic. It happened. It happened by the powers of me wanting my wife to stay around here. <laughs> <laughs> but please don't beat her in the face with the microphone. <laughs> the microphone won't stay down now. The pressure's too okay, hard. Hold I'm... on. I got this. Hold on. As soon as you get this figured out, I'm just going to go. <laughs> She'll do it, too. Oh, yeah. That's where you want to be. Hold on. You want to be there. It's because your table is slanted. There we go. You mean artistic. Arti- that was the worst one minute of any podcast that's ever existed. <laughs> You're welcome. Should I reset the camera? So, wait, up? did I win an award then? You did Have win I an got award. the worst <laughs> you minute. You the worst <laughs> minute in my podcast history. And I podcasted with Matthew, who just said next question to most things. <laughs> um, cool. Oh, this is old, but I wanted to touch on it. Well, it happened this last week, but it happened like at the beginning of last week, so no one cares. Did you guys see the video of the Dobre brothers meet and greet? Yes, of course. Yes. Christopher, did you? No. Next question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this is why I need Jessica. No, he definitely did. Oh, I know he did. What did I see? The meet and greet, greet where the they were boys. like. And they just didn't. They, they were like. They just said. <laughs> Jessica's doing the oh, motion. I may have seen one video. Yeah, it's but it was that just one two, video. And then he boys. did a weird hand oh, gesture no. when she left, too, that seemed he like. He did was, like a. Like a. Like he's like. <laughs> yeah, they did not seem impressed by the fact that a person came to see them. Yeah, paid $600. To stand in the middle of those four boys who completely despised her existence. That's so sad. And then she so apologized as she I know. walked that away. That was the thing. She apologized as she walked away. And then he that's when he did the hand gesture. I didn't know if it meant something like It was like cool it's like a young. dance move. Like a, it's like the. But what does it mean? What, what kind of like, what does the dance I imply? I have no idea that he's a douchebag. Can I just <laughs> say, can I just say that I feel, and I, I think I speak for all of us here, so honored that we have been a part of so many meet and greets and gotten to meet so many people that watch us. I can't stand seeing people treat their fans badly. Like it is so, it's so wrong. And they've, one of them tweeted out, like none of them did, they didn't do an apology One one tweeted out and then the rest retweeted that tweet. Really? Is that what they did? (laughs) I lost interest. I tried, I just, I searched Dobe Brothers apology video. I expected there to be apology video. None. (laughs) They just posted on as normal. And then, yeah, that, I just saw the it one tweet like, that was like, we're tired. Sorry. And I was they like, put, But they put boy. in the same amount of effort into <laughs> tweeting it as they did as that they meet and greet. So maybe that's just who they are. But like, I, I know that is, I, that is just who they are. They weren't, t- I mean, I have been dead tired. I have toured. I've done yeah. the tours. I've yeah. done the no sleep. I've done an entire show and then an hour, two hour long meet and greet. And we've done that with four kids. You've done it with, and one suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> I still smile, hug, engage, look into the eyes, notice something. I've about- seen you yell at some people. Oh, Rachel. that is a different thing. When I am running, <laughs> with energy. A and green- oh, with energy. <laughs> I let them know I see them. I don't ignore them. <laughs> Me yelling at them is better than ignoring their existence. It was odd. It was just very odd. It, it was like- so odd. I've seen I've seen you yell at people, and then when it was their turn, just Beaks be like the nice. nicest person <laughs> I've ever they seen. They came life. to a meet and greet, <laughs> you and they give get them a to hug, meet you like, with a smile. Smiles, <laughs> take all the pictures. And there have been times where they go, "How you doing?" I go, "Man, I'm exhausted." And they're like, yeah. "Are you?" I'm like, "Yeah, but like it was such a good show. Good to see you." Blah blah. blah. I still talk to him. You can admit that you're tired. How do you not? How do you not? Also, maybe this is just a me thing, but like, how do you not feel the energy of? A the person, greet. yeah, like that—that that energy of of meeting these people is—it's so real and cool, and like it energizes They're you just, even when you're tired. You're yeah. you're like, by the end of it, you're like, yeah, that was. That, I feel tired, but like such a good, yeah. like energized. Like we tired. did it. It yeah. happened. Can I tell the story of the most pulled, like pulling it through meet and greet person that there is? Actually, he has two stories. Tell me. Okay, so CVX Live one year. We had just had Duncan. He was probably like, I don't know, a year old or a little bit younger or something. So he was still in the like spitting up phase of having a baby. Mm -hmm. And Christopher's holding Duncan and we walk out to begin our meet and greet. There's a line established. They're like, hey, hi. And Christopher holds Duncan 
and <laughs> therefore he's above our children. Okay. <laughs> and immediately he walks out, and Duncan just does this spit up all over Jacob's head. <gasps> oh, that poor kid. <laughs> I'm sure he powered through the whole meet and greet. Yeah, he was just like, he didn't even have a problem with it. He was just like, oh, he's such a good I think, dude. Yeah, he probably went like, <laughs> he just, okay. sm- yeah, he just yeah. nodded his head. And, and he's and like, you know, we had a baby after, wipe. Yeah, we, like, baby, we wiped him off. Baby wipe showered him. <laughs> Freaking Jacob. <laughs> and like, we were like, do you want to go backstage? He's like, no, it's fine. Yeah, it's he's, fine. he's got, he's got, got, got to meet people. <laughs> They're here for us. <laughs> so he had that. And then actually I thought of another one, like as I was thinking of that one. And you were there for this one, I think. Hmm. I don't know where we were, like Philadelphia or something. And we had to park our car (laughs) to get to the theater and go through a downpour of rain. And obviously, we're from California. We didn't know you Uh needed umbrellas like on the East Coast or something. We don't know know what's going on. So we're like soaking wet. We had a child interrupt. It's fine. (laughs) So we're in this like downpour (laughs) of rain. How long do you think she was standing by Forever. the thing to the whole she has been there to whole maybe time. accidentally say her name? <laughs> for her to pop out. Yes, what? Huh? <laughs> Can we? Basically, it's, it's uh, like, it just reminds me of Arrested <laughs> Development. What's this? The magician that been so, so, Joe? Uh, not Joe. Uh, uh, Tommy Wonder. Tommy Wonder. Did someone say Wonder? Just hiding in a cabinet. Jessica, what was your other Jake story? Downpour. <laughs> we don't know what umbrellas are. Okay, so we're completely soaking wet. Yes, and we. Didn't have a change of clothes. Mm-hmm. I think maybe we had something, but it was like back in the car where it was wet or something. Yeah. I don't know. I can't, can't remember what happened. But basically, Jacob had no options for clothing. You just soaking like, wet clothing. <laughs> soaking wet clothing or nothing. <laughs> Wait, I think and didn't somehow, you have a costume that you no. bought earlier in the day? No. Oh. No. The other kids had things like that. Oh, like okay. they had this random assortment of stuff that we like put together and it worked. Jacob had nothing. And Colleen found oh. some of her Spanx. <laughs> I remember this. She found, uh, yeah, we found dry Spanx in one of the bags. Oh. So Jacob wore Spanx. To the and like a merch shirt, I'm and sure. Like it was a merch shirt and like Spanx. And you could see this like, I don't know, was it like little shorts or something? Like it was the oddest outfit. <gasps> He just powers through it. Uh, that kid. That is, he is <laughs> unbothered. Uh, he's an optimist. I think I he found. thought it was funny. Like he yeah. enjoyed the. He's the like, it's humorous. So he's like, yeah. did someone laugh at it? We're going with it. Yeah. That's what Jake is. Yeah. <laughs> like, he just did the like pointy fingers, and that's so Jake. Yeah, that's like, how, the more I hang out with her, the more I'm like, this is the most optim- optimistic <laughs> finger gun kid in the world. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew. Pew, pew. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, that video just made me upset. Not the Jake one, the Dobe brothers. We should show the Dobe brothers, Jacob and Spanx. <laughs> just feel like this is how you meet and greet. <laughs> this is what you do. You show appreciation for the people that let you live the life you live. That's all we have to do for them. Just show a little appreciation. Anyway. Meet and greets are fun. Like yeah. they are fun. Like have fun with it. Don't resent it. Yeah. And if you, you know what? If you don't want to do one. Don't do one. Yeah. there. I know YouTubers who just don't like them. They just like have anxiety. They don't like touching people. They love the people that watch their videos. They're so thankful for them. But they just have like a people disorder. And that's why they love YouTube where they don't have to interact with humans face to face. And so they just don't do meet and greets. And you know what? That's sure. fine because they're not forcing themselves to do it and then being rude to the people that come. But Rachel, mm-hmm. how are you supposed to make $600? You know what? You don't do it. You just don't make $600 a person. I feel like the people that enjoy it don't charge $600. Yes. Also. That's the thing. Colleen's meet and greets. I thought she was charging 200 a ticket for VIP. She was like, no, we charge like 60. I was like, hold the phone. You only yeah. charge 60? And she's like, yeah, these kids can't afford money. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, Colleen, just, you know, <laughs> you are queen. Calm down about it. <laughs> I thought she was charging a lot. And she's like, no, that's not me. That's no, other she YouTubers. Doesn't. <laughs> well, no. Was, and there are sometimes websites that will buy her tickets. Oh, yeah. The scalpers. Yeah. Don't it's like that. It's like some weird Mm-mm. thing. They'll buy her tickets and then they co- make it cost a lot. Of, and that makes yeah. me really upset. So her tickets are supposed to be cheap because we know what it's like to not have money. All right. We're switching gears. I don't know if you guys have an opinion on this. But Trish went through an identity crisis this past week. She posted a video saying that. she was trans. 
people got mad at her for it. Then she came out and said, you know what? I think I'm just questioning. She says that she feels she's supposed to be a part of the LGBTQ plus community. And right now she's just going to land on the queue and be questioning. And she's talked. She has a therapist and she's talking through it. And I'm just going to sit back and see what happens. I don't think I have a str- Well, Jessica has a cough towards it. But people kept asking me my opinion, like, when she said she was trans, and then I was like, I'm just going to see what happens. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm qualified to, That's to have I'm an saying. opinion. That's what I'm saying. Or, I don't or that it's even my business to have an opinion. That's what I always said. I was just like, I'm going to sit back and see what happens. And, like, if she's just, if she just, she just genuinely seems like she doesn't really know what she lands on. And I, she submitted, she's like, I don't feel comfortable in my body, which I fully believe her. And I'm just like, okay, you just figure yourself out. And I think the hard thing about YouTube is she does post things that are on her mind. And you know how you can just have like a really weird thought one day or an off thought or one you don't fully agree, like even like the next day don't fully agree with. But she just posts all of those thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, To me, that's the, that is the oddest thing is to make that bold a statement about like a term that means so much to so many people. Yes. And I think that's like, she is someone I just expect her to just, she just word vomits a lot. Yeah. And I, that just gets her in trouble. And I feel like, you know, just this. Well, not, yeah. Not just getting in trouble, but I know I, I did see people respond saying that they were hurt. By yeah. Their statements. And I think that's like, that's, that's the hardest valid. thing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I also think like the thing about her in general, and I haven't watched any of these videos that she's posted, but I have seen, I did read some people commenting and mm-hmm. like responding to it. Um, but I feel like the thing about her in general throughout her history on YouTube, people discuss the idea of being like an authentic person on YouTube and how yeah. are you are authentic. And to me, she's a person who's like the most authentic to kind of what Christopher was saying, like to what it, she's feeling in whatever moment. Yeah. Like she will say what she's feeling without holding back at all. Yeah. Whereas like if I were to, po- I, I think before I post anything and I think she just turns the camera on. She doesn't even edit. Yeah. She's working. She's working through it. Yeah. Like, uh, live. Yes. Basically. That's like, what happens. And yeah. she gets the backlash for it. And, you know, cause she said, you know, there's things you shouldn't say and you should say, and, you know, there's things and she just she and things that can be hurtful to a community and i think that's like the core of it is like that i you know making sure she's not being hurtful to a community and i never thought she was ever trying to hurt the community i feel like there was never a negative intention of hers even if people were like well she was trolling i don't think she ever was like i'm gonna do this to hurt the community but she did and i think that she did say i'm sorry but she said this is i'm sorry she her video is i apologize but then in the middle of it she said i can't apologize that was confusing uh, I never really watch her videos. I follow yeah. her everywhere, and I know her as a human. I finally watched her videos because I was like, maybe I'll do a little research for this podcast. <laughs> and oh, she just check. This I, is a I researched did, podcast. Well, this was a sensitive Rachel. topic, and I didn't know how to cover it, but I mm-hmm. thought that we should maybe cover it. So I was like, let me see what she said. Let, I wanted to see if she had changed her mind on her opinions on her being trans. Is it? Am I? Is that? Am I? Is that PC still? Just saying trans? Yes. I am so scared of being politically incorrect. Yeah, it's, I it's, think you're scared I of say, hurting people. Yes, and that's, the, that's the thought. Pro- like that's the thought process. Is like I, I want to respect people and yeah. who they are, and their it's their lives. You know, yeah. so like I think she has conversations with the internet that we would have with like your best friend, or like you know you two would have mm-hmm. with each other. Yeah, she has it with the internet, and instead of like having each other to filter through, the internet filters her through, and that's just. She says she's going to therapy. You know, I wish her luck. This is going to be the weirdest transition ever. Speaking of therapy, <laughs> have you ever heard of light therapy? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I have. It's time for our sponsor for today. <laughs> our sponsor today is Verilux, the original creator of Happy Light. This is the box. This is for you guys. I got oh. they gave me two and I got you we as one present. of them. Thank you. You are welcome. So Avera Lux are the leading providers in you healthy life. Very light. excited and energetic after that. We're like, ooh, Vera Lux. <laughs> 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 It's like when they do the talk shows, they put the thing on the on the counter, you know. Uh, Verilux is the leading provider of healthy lighting solutions and, of course, making people happy for over 50 years. They're the original creator of Happy Light Therapy Lamps and more than 
80% of people with low energy fatigue or the winter blues, which I definitely get. You know how like the yeah. sun sets earlier, you don't get enough sunlight, you get sad about it, I get sad about it. Everyone that suffers from these things may expect to benefit from light therapy. You know, you just need a little light in your life. Um, it can improve healthy sleeping patterns, get you ahead of daylight savings time, which is coming up November 3rd. It can increase your mood and energy, and it can help with jet lag. That's yeah. all the amazing things. The That's what I was going to say is it says right here, reset your sleep cycle. <laughs> yeah. And that, you travel and stuff. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. It's really nice. So it's easy to integrate into your daily routine. You can place it anywhere in your home or office. I put mine above my computer um, and my uh, inside my office. Um, and I use it when I do my makeup or when I live stream because it's a really good like light for like pictures and videos. So I put it above my computer so I have lighting when I do my live streams. And then I get like really happy during my live streams. <laughs> so it's like one. two in one. Uh, they say I want to hear if that's true. People who watch her live streams. Is Rachel happy? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> dare you i'm back check. <laughs> watch me on twitch <laughs> <laughs> but it's best to use it in the mornings and you only usually need to use it for 20 minutes a day so uh verilux is offering free shipping and 20 percent off with the promo code all things internet so visit verilux.com that's v-e-r-i-l-u-x.com and use the promo code all things internet you know because the winter's coming the winter's coming y'all you know what always knocks me out is hmm. the daylight savings always I, I, I every can't time stand it. i'm like why are we doing this to ourselves? So I'm going to try it for we that. We voted to get rid of reason. it. But until that happens, happy light, y'all. Yeah. I think it passed Fair the looks. vote too, didn't it? It did. Because we're so terrible. Cause it's... But then did we never work it into the calendar? Well, no, we're going to. It just <laughs> takes a little bit of time. It doesn't take it's 2028. <laughs> when the prisons are no longer privately run, we will have no more daylight savings. Okay. All right. Um, should, we do, should we put this like... You can do whatever you want with it now. It's over. (laughs) That clip is already sent to the people. (laughs) Put it right there. Uh, Donald Trump joins Twitch. Did you really already send it to your people? No, I have to cut it. Uh, it. They just get sent that clip. So anything we say right now isn't going to them. I mean, unless they listen to my hour-long podcast, they could hear this. But they just asked for the clip. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, Donald Trump joined Twitch. (laughs) No. But see, here's the thing. Did you know that, Christopher? No, I did not know that. Here's the that's, thing. That's not like... <laughs> Who set it up for him? Because it's really hard to set up Twitch. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. He so, might have some resources, though. Yeah, a little bit. I think he might have a few people working for it's him. It's really hard. Um, But people are like, this is hilarious because it's an Amazon-owned company, and he constantly rags on the dude that uh, owns Amazon. Yeah. But I genuinely don't think Donald Trump knows he has a Twitch account. <laughs> <laughs> probably true. I think... Well, I like bet Bob Ross has a, on it. has a Twitch account. Yeah, so does Bernie like, Sanders. And it's but like run by is, someone wait, else. Is it's he going like, to live stream? No, here's the thing. They set it up, people found it, and everyone was like, oh my gosh, a Donald Trump streaming. This is hilarious. And it, they just repost or live stream his press conferences. Like the stuff... It's his just rallies. his rallies and uh, it's not he doesn't know he has a twitch account uh, he's never gonna sit down in front of a, a camera and stream live i don't know he's on twitter all day every day yeah, yeah he that's might true. find it and realize if it's his someone favorite gives thing. him his pass if that password oh it's over he well he, somebody would have to like turn it on for him it's really hard to turn on it is really hard to turn on <laughs> you know it's easy to turn on from the phone though but I would kind of like to see him not be able to turn it off and not realize he didn't turn it off. I would never want to see that. I don't want to see what he does. He's, it's just going to be him on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but like when Bernie Sanders made a Twitch account, everyone thought, was like, oh, we're going to get Bernie streams. But it was the same thing. They just posted his press conferences and huh. stuff like that. But Bernie doesn't really go off script. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like a forum that's, like, built for Trump. Yeah, that's true. Because Trump goes off script, and then it's, like, he he enjoys saying, like, whatever. Do you think they actually write Trump a script? Yes. At this this point? Yes. With how many times he goes off script? Do you think they still put the effort into writing a script? He makes jokes about it when, like, at those rallies, he'll he'll start on script, and he'll be like, you know what? Everybody likes it better when I'm off script. And then the crowd goes wild. Do you you don't think that they write that in? At that point in the script, like, okay, this is the part where the script ends. <laughs> I don't think so. I think I think he gets going, and then you can kind of see it. You can see it in his yeah. eyes when he's going from from teleprompter to like, Improv. I'm now I'm gonna pace the stage and just go for it. Oh, it's scary to watch. It is scary to watch. It's like, oh no, this is when the pitchforks come out. 
It gets he's, he's riled started up. using a lot of profanity in his, really? his rallies. Yeah. I haven't watched him in a while just because, like, I don't want to give him any extra view on any mm-hmm. video ever. I don't want to, you know, boost his ego. He doesn't realize it, but I don't know. Ah, switching back to more internet related things, more technical. Don't update your Apple computers. <laughs> oh. They came oh. out with a new update and it ruins your computers. So if you have an Apple. So when we have a fire going in the north of Los Angeles right now, I was stuck inside all day because of the smoke. And I was like, you know what? I got nothing to do. I'm going to do all the updates my computer constantly bugs me to do. So I opened up my laptop. I opened up my iMac. And I did both the updates at the same time. So I did this huge thing. The next day, half my apps wouldn't work. I couldn't live stream from my laptop. Oh, and I haven't even tried it on the iMac. Did all the apps end up on like all your other computers? No. Because that happened to me. It. Well, I updated both. My Not my apps, my uh, my documents. All of a sudden, yes. all my documents, yeah, everything, and I couldn't move or delete anything on one computer without it deleting it from everything. Yes, and it like destroyed my life. So, but they're saying like everyone's really mad about this update, and apparently Apple's like, oh, we warned you guys, and everyone's like, no. But people with Adobe, uh, Adobe is telling its users, don't update. You're gonna be screwed. <laughs> So they're wow. just like, don't do You don't do often it. have a like, company going like, don't do what that other company yeah. is telling you to do and it's like, that we work with like, yeah. in tandem. It was, they sent something with the, like, the 32 bits. If it's a 32-bit app, I don't know what any of that means. But it has to, it has to be a 62-bit app to run or blah, blah, blah. But uh, the streaming things that you use for Twitch won't work on the Apple things. So don't update because you, stre- you stream on an iMac. So I have to use Mac's PC to stream now. Because we tried to like download every different streaming site for Twitch yeah. and none of them will work. And because those sites are for the older generations of the Macs, I guess. So this thing is just, it's just screwing everybody. And I'm really upset because I was like, I'm going to be a good little tot and update all my things because I have nothing else yeah. to do. You can undo me. the update, I think, but it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Like and you it's, back up your things before you did it or something. Yeah. <laughs> No, know. and it's uh, to the point where if you have an old, if you're running on the old Adobe, you can't even delete the old Adobe off your computer, even though it doesn't work anymore, because you have to have the old system in order to delete the old Adobe. Like you can't even put it in your trash and remove it from yes. your computer. So this thing that doesn't work on your computer anymore is taking up all the space that you can't even delete because Apple has ruined it. <laughs> They'll figure it out, right, guys? No, right? Apple is just going down. You want to know? What also, Apple did. <laughs> mess with their laptops and remove all the ports <laughs> yes that i hate it i have to have an adapter for everything no um the they removed the app that was being used by protesters in hong kong because china pressured apple to do it really and when everyone at apple was like wait why are we doing this the dude who owns apple was like he like defended himself and was like we have to do this for china and all the people at apple were like ah <laughs> okay so it got deleted and everyone's like what are you doing so what was the app what were they using it was just it was some news app where it was like actually like telling them what was actually going on and not just china's telling people what's what china wanted people to hear how how did they have access to it i don't know i'm not that technical but it was an app run by apple that was like in the apple store and they deleted it for china interesting yeah you know that's scary that is scary it's 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 <clears throat> so scary how much control China has over a bunch of like U.S. things like the NBA, all of the gaming sites, Apple. It's insane. I'm it, I'm fearful for it. <laughs> Thankfully, Trump's got a Twitch though, so we're fine. <laughs> if he knows if he knows how to get on Twitch, he'll handle it. Um, do you guys know anything about Fortnite? I know it's done. Yeah, season 10 ended. I didn't know what season... I didn't know they had seasons. But there was just a black hole that went on forever at the end of it. And no one knew what to do with it. People were watching it for hours. It's just this black hole that just... I heard about it. That just exists. I don't play Fortnite, but I heard about this. (laughs) Same. And so naturally the internet didn't know what to do with it, so it just made memes about it. There were a lot of memes. There were a lot of memes. staring into a black hole for a really long time. (laughs) There's a lot of memes that could come from that. Yeah. Apparently, like... People were like just staring at it. Yes. And not knowing what to do. They expected something would happen with it. Like it would do something or give you a clue to something else. I don't know. But that's all the news I have. Do you guys have anything to add? Do you guys want to talk about anything? Yeah, it hasn't been that exciting when it's been like a. We've been kind of wrapped up in like the final month of pregnancy. Yeah. 
and building much. guitars. That's so. that's what they that's what you guys Ooh, do practicing guitars. That promo, Christopher, gifted guitars. He's Christopher got questions Bowser. about stuff later. No, did I? Oh, yeah. We'll save it. We'll save it. We'll Who's ready? It. We're going to move on to a game. We're going to play oh, Mad yes. Gab. That's why I'm here. That's why I've been waiting That's for. just why Jessica's here. Did you drink a water bottle and a half while sitting here? Yes. How do you feel? I would drink more, but I feel self-conscious in- about drinking in front of this mic. I understand completely. Like, I don't know. I won't how much eat on there. Twitch when I'm streaming because there's a mic right next to my mouth. I won't eat. I hate eating on Twitch. I ate a bagel the other day and was like so self-conscious the whole time. Anyway. Yeah, and then you can't talk because your mouth's full. Yeah. Like, it's so weird. It's so. I tried it in the beginning because I was really hungry. Well, yeah. And everybody was like, yeah, eat. And then I did. And I was like, this is awkward. I have food in my mouth. You can hear me. I hate like, ASMR. Nothing else is happening if I'm eating. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. So weird. I told them to do that often. I'm like, I have to pee. Talk amongst yourselves. And I ran away. Hmm. Do you have a, a be right back screen? Yes. I finally made one for myself. Yeah. Um, all right. So we're I playing Mad Gab. I water all down my face just now and my other things. I walked in today and Christopher looked like he had drool all over his chin. Why Why we got to bring that up? <laughs> Jessica, I needed to make Jessica feel better. <laughs> she just spilled on camera. I always spill on camera all day, every day. So, I didn't And I don't, know, I, like... I don't know if it was like... <laughs> I had a breakfast burrito right before. I don't know if it's from that or because I've been like lacquering guitars all day. But it's one or the other. And neither Lacquer one's on not, you know, not great. Christopher just had some shiny goop all over his chin when I or walked in. Or it was drool. It could have been <laughs> it drool. It could have just been drool, guys. That's the kind of sleep I get. All right. We're playing Mad Gab. Do you guys know what Mad Gab is? No. Is it like you <clears throat> explain so- it? <laughs> We're going to need an explanation. <laughs> This, there's a whole board game with it, but I just played this part how I want to play. Sorry, Jessica. <laughs> there are no rules. Right. So basically... Don't let Rachel near any of our board games. She'll just tear them apart and pick like, out the I parts. Like she part. like, I just like this part. I like these pretty dice. We'll just, we'll just these. roll these. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to say... You You can read either one you want, but it says, Wide Own Chewy May Lit. Okay. Mm. So I say that, and you have to guess what I'm actually saying. So it's a sentence with the words on the wrong syllable. They're using different Chris words. Christopher's going to be really good at this. So wide like, own chewy you? mail it. I'm trying, I'm trying to listen. Uh, no, I, you're, you're solving it, but I want to hear it. It's if you don't wrong. hear it. Because we're verses, right? Oh, we could play it where whoever guesses it first wins. That's what I figured. Christopher's oh. going to win, though, because it's like, it's like how it's Wide own works. chewy mail it. Why don't you... Why don't you chewy mail it? Why don't you chew a mallet? Chew a mallet. <laughs> Why don't you chew? It's not Why a mallet. Why don't you? Why don't you mail it? Why don't, Why don't you, you mail it? Close. <laughs> Why don't you mail it? Why don't you mail it? Why don't you mail it? It is so hard knowing what it actually is, and hearing you guys say it, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you your... mail it? Why don't you eat mail it? Why don't you eat <laughs> Why mail it? Why don't you eat mail it? Why don't you're not chew. saying anything? <laughs> Why don't okay. you? I'm gonna do it with my mom and say it in an accent. Why don't you eat mail it? <laughs> that doesn't help. Oh, it so helps. <laughs> Why don't you I don't think you're it? saying anything. <laughs> Why don't you Do you eat? both forfeit? Yes. Sure. Why don't you email it? Okay. I don't Got it now. That. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a popular you, phrase? You need to read it better, Rachel. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Well, Where Jessica, do you want it? to read right. the thing? No, I'm okay. ready for this. Kitten <laughs> might whose hint swore thin. Kitten might whose hint swore thin. Kitten might whose hint swore thin. Kitten might who's hint swarthen. <laughs> this is not a not terrible nip. game. Okay. I think we need Should the board. Should we play it in cards. reverse? Let's wait. just have the board and not the cards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, wait. I was, I was gonna get it. Say Kitten one more time. Kitten might who's hint swarthen. You weren't gonna get. It. <laughs> oh, I get it. Wait. <laughs> See, once you know what it is, it's really okay, do easy. Do one more time. Kitten might who's hint swarthen. Kitten might who's hint swarthen. What accent is that? It's a Scottish you... Irish. It's an angry Scottish Irish. Skyrish. It's a Skyrish. Kitten might who's hint worthen. Kitten might who's hint worthen. <laughs> You're not gonna get this one. It's too. It's too long. The shorter ones are easier. Okay, Do a short one then. Okay, fine. Fine. That was getting my two cents worthen. All right. Oh. This one's a short one. Ease yes spy. Ease yes spy. Easy as pie. 
Ding, ding, ding. Yes. Okay, Easy as pie, Jess. Oh, Christopher gets that one. I get you the win card. It. First to three wins. I knew Christopher would win this Is that the one. next one, first to three wins? No. Oh. Kittenfin. Kittenfin. No. Kitty Finn. Wait, what? You're changing it now. <laughs> I got distracted by my own fake accent. Get even. Ding, ding, ding. That's what she did is what it means. Oh, I find a short <laughs> one. What did you just say? Oh, now you're questioning me? <laughs> I'm just talking normally. Nail some hand Ella. Nail some. Nels- Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Hold on, let me find a shorter one. These are all really long. Okay. Haste hunt man. Nope. Am I saying that word right? <laughs> yeah. Haste hunt. Man. Haste hunt man. Oh, <laughs> good one, Jess. Good one. All right. This is the tiebreaker, y'all. Ask hatch bad. Ask hatch bad. Ask hatch bad. Ask hatch bad. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Da, na, 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 na. It sounded most like it when I did it with my Skyrish accent. <laughs> Say again. A sketchpad. A sketchpad? Yeah! Oh, nice. <laughs> Christopher uh, on the game. Read them and weep. Uh, All right. We've got some questions. They were just aimed at Christopher, but Jessica, you can be a part of this. Jessica too. And oh. is basically a part of me. All right, Jessica, where did you learn magic? Anonymous Colleen wants to know. <laughs> On our first date. Yeah, from Christopher. <laughs> you learned magic I broke the magician's code to impress her on the first Christopher, date. Christopher, who inspired you to learn magic? What did you see? Who did you see? I oh. know that there was that Alex. Can, who was the dude? Was his name Alex or was it the restaurant? No, name was Alex. his name was Mark and he worked at Alex's Cantina. That's it. There was where, a restaurant with a magician that Christopher. And we would go like every Friday that we could to go yeah. see him do magic. Um, I think it started with my aunt and her friend getting me a trick. Like she, they would get me things every week. They really? Would, yeah. So there was. I like, did not know that. There was like a time when it was all dinosaur stuff. One when it was indigenous people stuff. One when oh. it was cowboy stuff, rodeo stuff, and when it was magic stuff that stopped. Zuck. And oh I, wow, that's cool. And I kept doing. So you it. just gotta let your kids try everything. Something I can also uh, lasso things now. Didn't so you learn that in Oklahoma? Yes. He, he, but he I, that already. I kind of went into it knowing a little bit. I did yeah. not know that. Yeah. Um, the TCA wants to know if you're going to prove to be a true Ballinger by making a Christmas-themed guitar. Um, I would like to. It depends on timing. Uh, he probably won't this year. Because you have a baby point. coming I want out. To, like I really want to. I might do a simple one. <laughs> he already has a design planned out, but... Ah, uh, so, so I thought the, about it. I put the guitars into Photoshop and then like make mock-up guitars. Oh, that's cool. Um, and I, I did like three designs for Christmas on a really cool guitar, really cool mm. vintage style. That's guitar. cool. I want to see it. I'll show it to you after this. All right, cool. I also want the guitar. Emma wants to know <laughs> what time do y'all wake up? I wake up at seven forty-five a.m. every day. So that's when my dogs eat. When ah. do you guys wake up? Similar story. <laughs> Children eat at Our a certain time. Human related. It's usually like somewhere it's between like six. six and seven. Oh, yeah. you know, yeah. you can train them to wake up later. I did it with my dogs. <laughs> Humans aren't dogs. Yeah. You They're can different. train them Rachel, the same. <laughs> we just posted a video about taking parenting advice from non-parents. <laughs> you just like leave treats places. <laughs> Oh, you don't put them in the crate sometimes <laughs> when you leave the house. The, the crate is frowned upon in parenting <gasps> circles. <laughs> you, don't, you, just throw, you just throw a chew toy in the crate. Yeah. They're fine. A, Trust a little me. Kong filled with peanut butter. Easy. Oh, so you're going to be the hours. one watching our kids when we have the baby, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a jar of peanut butter. <laughs> Can we request? Four crates. Wait, no crate. <laughs> I also got their own leashes. They match their collars. Watch they, out. They are not kennel trained. Ah, oh, dang it. All right. Oh, uh, mom asked us. Mom, the, the actual, our actual oh. mom. Mom. Okay. What's, Gwen Ballinger. What's up, <laughs> Did you have a wide selection of people asking questions? Or is it just your mom a bunch? <laughs> just mom. Or I don't have any other friends. She wanted to know what our... Oh, the, it stopped recording. So stick figures are going to be put here for a second. Christopher, do you want to draw the stick figures? Or am I? Uh, I'll, I'll 
I'll draw them if you want. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing my So stick wherever figure. that clip left is what the next the stick figure has to represent for the clip ended. We haven't moved. So unless this it's like moment, when we were unless it's when moment. a children's show showed up or we were messing with a mic stand. Those are the only All variants right. on where we are currently you, right so now. So do you have to draw this photo right here is what this is? Okay. I'm posting it tonight. Good luck. <laughs> With you, your sketch pen. Um, <laughs> he you... could draw a stick figure picture in about five seconds. What are you talking about? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> no, because it's Christopher. Yeah, it'll take him. Yeah, so I a five second this. task <laughs> did Christopher think about this. 12 years. And if I was the one running the podcast, I would make their mouths move when they talk. Um, I know. I know you would. That's why I said good luck. <laughs> I'm just going to draw you a picture. Okay. Anyway, mom, our mother, the one who had us cut out of her. Wants to know. <laughs> to specify, you were very confused last time. What our favorite video you made with dad was when we were little. What's oh. your favorite? Because dad used to make videos with us. Yes. I don't, re- I don't remember making videos. I think I was too small. Do you remember the tiny. videos? Though? Oh, I remember the videos. But she said, what was your favorite, ma- like, when- favorite video you made? Yeah, I'm thinking of, like asking... the action of making. Uh, was I in a lot? He in the later as, years, like, the baby that's sitting I, there, yeah, watching I feel like the video being made. Mine of yours was Time Machine. Time Machine's classic. You know, there was one I was in where a slug became giant. A giant slug. That one's pretty and good. I too. have my mouth. But Dad wasn't in that. Dad wasn't a part of that. That was all us made. That, that was, was all us. us made? I think so. I think that was us. Because that's the only time I had a speaking role. Yeah. <laughs> and I just screamed, it's a giant slug. Because yeah, I we, we cereal just, in my mouth. We weren't very good at casting, so we cast you. <laughs> when we, the when professional we started caster playing. wasn't there. The casting Dad wasn't was, there to tell us was no. was on vacay. <laughs> <laughs> she can't do it. She'll, she'll be eating cereal the whole time. Yeah. No, I love Time Machine. That's one, one I you think made Time Machine's probably my favorite as well. There was one... I haven't seen in a long time where it, we used to make news shows as like um, as reports. Yeah. You used would do these in high school. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I guess I wasn't little. The, nah. the one I was thinking of was junior high, though, Rachel. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Wasn't the one when you had your duh shirt on? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's all you wore in junior high. I, I wore a duh, duh shirt or whatever. A lot. <laughs> oh, those are those are rude words in this household. Yeah. I also had one that said Hocus Pocus in that fady font. What? You they were allowed really? to wear something that wore Hocus Could Pocus? It? We weren't allowed to watch and Hocus I Pocus. That's, I still to this day haven't seen Hocus, Hocus Pocus. Oh. So, that's so controversial. it's that double standard. Okay. Well, that that anyway. is controversial in your childhood home. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know which was my favorite. I'm just happy that my dad did that. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I'm happy that we got to make videos. And yeah. um, I think the first one, which... I don't even know if I want to say the title of it because it's so non-PC. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think saying PC, you guys, is like no longer PC. Well, you, you can't say PC. You can't say PC no, anymore? I don't think you can say that anymore. Why not? I don't know. What are you supposed to say? Um, I think you're just... Like, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to say But, like, I'm trying to be post OPC by saying PC. No, I, like, <laughs> I'm trying to be like, I care. No, that's like, I'm it's, that's like, I don't want to offend anybody. This is my no. way of being like, yo, I care. No, I'm pretty sure you can't Did say we it. just have a Trisha Paytas moment? Oh, my gosh. We're going through this with the internet. <laughs> internet, don't get mad at us. Just calmly let us know. Is PC PC? <laughs> I would like to preemptively apologize for my <laughs> offensive behavior. I am learning. My apology video will be coming out soon. Anyway. All right. That that video. I know what you're talking about. That movie, which is cowboy and indigenous people, but a different word. I don't think that's, I think that's, I think it's fine. Sure. But I played both roles. Yeah, which you I, did. I don't know if that's okay. I don't think so. You know, yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. It was the first movie we ever made. And so that, it, I'm. I have fond memories. If you're asking yes. about memories, yeah, I'm asking fond, memories. That would be the fond memory. No, yeah. Treasure Hunt's my favorite one. Ooh, Treasure Hunt was that's a my good favorite one. one. Yeah, that's a good one. And that one, I always got jealous because mom let you di- let you dig holes in the backyard. Like I'd see videos and pictures of like holes you dug in the backyard, and I was like, I want to do that. And mom wouldn't let me do it. Yeah, I kind of paved the way yeah. against that. Rude, man. I think mom, mom realized that that was dangerous I know. and inappropriate for a child to dig a hole 
past their height in the backyard. <laughs> He's Man. everywhere. Just little traps. I missed out, dude. All right. Uh, Aiden Miranda Fan. Nope. Miranda, Miranda Fanda. <laughs> Ballinger wants to know, who's your favorite Disney princess? Mine's Pocahontas. She got to have a raccoon. <laughs> and she, Disney princess. And she painted man. with all the colors of the wind. She did paint with all the colors. I just liked how wilderness she was. And Mm -hmm. that was my goal in life was to be outside. Yeah. That's a good one. That is a good one. I like that one. I don't know. I I want to say Snow White. Mm. But I think that's maybe just because of the historical context of the movie. Of course you would know the historical context. No, just that it's the first. (laughs) the the first one. It's Disney's like first princess. And like. I will say I'm mad at Pocahontas for getting together with John Smith. Just saying. Fun fact. Oh, no. (laughs) Jessica, do you have a different favorite? You can do current. I, like, well, is Elsa I, one? Is Elsa a Disney No, I, well, I was actually, my first, like, my knee-jerk reaction would be Rapunzel because I love Tangled. Mm. I love Tangled. But this I don't know that movie. she's my favorite princess. Like, mm. I just can't remember. I honestly, like, can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like I wasn't that impressed with Flynn Rider. As a person, because he was like kind of a, too much of a so you like maker. don't like like that I she liked went in, with him? I like well I, I don't know I kind of like I liked it in itself like I was like I fell for it but at the same time it was kind of like that guy is kind of a trump like he's a Listen, scoundrel. Any of the princesses like, have a bad dude that goes with them, so you can't fault the princesses for the dudes because they all have bad dudes. What was were the Sleeping ones of Beauty's our Prince of Brad dude? Sleeping the which Beauty? ones? Prince Charming. So he like kissed a chick that was in a coma. Does he? He didn't Whoa, get consent. Her. Oh, yeah, yeah, Are you yeah, kidding yeah. me? <laughs> okay, I forgot about that one. <laughs> They're all terrible. Wait, but hadn't they met before? Hadn't they danced? I stuff? actually haven't seen... Now, Sleeping Beauty was Prince Charming? Who's Prince Charming? I forgot. That's Cinderella. I feel like you're thinking Snow White. I, Snow oh, White, yeah. so, Prince, Well, I never saw Sleeping Beauty. Consent. But Sleeping Beauty... I don't think we were allowed to see Sleeping Beauty as children. It was too scary. It was oh really... Oh, my gosh. Wait, Cinderella. Oh, you're... Wait, who are you talking about? <laughs> We're really good at knowing our Disney princesses. You guys have kids. You should know these things. And that's my time off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, go watch. What were the movie. ones from our childhood? It was like Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. I was thinking Ariel. Okay. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Aladdin. That was our like our childhood. Tarzan. Oh, Tarzan. Jane loved it. They aren't princesses. I didn't love Tarzan. I did not like that movie. You didn't like Tarzan? No. I just love monkeys. I love animals. I was really upset about Tarzan because it was like. There was some music in it, but it was like it felt like the end of the musical era, and that, I was like very uh, upset because there was Hunchback of Notre Dame, mm-hmm. I, I and then like Tarzan, one. and I was like so upset that all the good like music Disney movies were going away. Would you like Nala from Lion King? No, she wouldn't be like my top princess. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Is who is Prince Charming? Which one is he in? I feel like is he Cinderella's or is no. he Snow White's? I think he's no. like all of them. Yeah, they're all. I love that we kind of had like nameless princes. <laughs> they don't matter. It's like throw away. But, they're but, like a boring part of that thing. <laughs> they were just like, we have to put a romantic love no, story I in I thought this. Sleeping Beauties was Prince Charming. Yeah, that's the one that I'm against. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He just like makes out with the chick that's in a coma. Does he? I think so. Isn't that how she comes think, out of the coma? I don't think, I it's think it's that's a, Snow White. I don't think it's a make out. And yes, both end the same way. <laughs> Oh my but, God, it's both, both but have I Prince feel Charming like go. Snow White never she's met, unconscious. Might as well kiss her. But I feel like Snow White never met the prince. No, she didn't. And Sleeping Beauty. She did at the wishing well. <laughs> okay, that is not a meeting. If I see someone across a wishing she well, goes, that does not give me permission to go kiss them the while they're love. sleeping. And then it goes today at the end, and she goes, "Oh, there's a man watching me," and she runs away. So he's kind of yeah, so, <laughs> so kind so of a peeping tom, but then turns this into man, he finds her later in a coma, and that is permission to kiss. Well, her. I'm trying to figure out if Prince, Char- if the Sleeping Beauty one, like he had, didn't he have like a quest? Like he had to go wake up the village, the town somehow. Yeah, I think he knew. So I think he, he knew, knew that, that, that would... the kiss was the thing that would solve. She, the he was like, "She'll take it for the team." Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> and they'd already the fallen. Moment. I just I don't remember, but I feel like they'd already fallen in love, and there was already like relationship established, and then he knew that that was like the end of the quest, and he was rescuing her. Okay. Well, I never saw it, so I have nothing to add for that. I'm just saying. Check All it right. Out. But wait, and there was another movie I just thought of, <laughs> Enchanted. But, but you know what the, I mean? The 
the live action. Live action. Yeah. That counts, right? Yeah. But I, I still feel like that, that would end it terribly. That she was a good princess, though. She was a great princess. Yeah. And um, she had a great song, the clean, the happy cleaning mm-hmm. song. That was a great song. I loved Enchanted. I hated the ending. It was yeah. a terrible ending. Absolutely terrible. But the movie itself was great. Mm. I'm going to ask the last question because I think it's hilarious that it was asked when this baby hasn't even been born yet. Annabella wants to know, are you going to have another kid? Oh, you yes. think that hasn't been asked? <laughs> but we don't How know his often? name yet. <laughs> no, Christopher's not even understanding what this question is. After this one, are you having a They're six? saying beyond oh, this one. Now you're specifying. Because <laughs> there was like, yes, we're having one. We're having one in like a couple weeks. That's I... the current plan. <laughs> the current plan is to have a fifth child. Yes. <laughs> I just think that's hilarious. It gets asked a lot. I, yeah. It's like you do something and then they immediately ask when you're going to do it again. <laughs> like, yeah. Let me enjoy this thing. Just yeah. like how people get asked like, oh, when are you going to get engaged? When are you going to get married? When are you going to have When are you going to have a third dog? <laughs> It makes sense to ask it. I it doesn't ask. make but sense. But I know people don't like being asked that. Yes. But in general, like, I feel Do like. Do you like being asked it? You can be truthful. Just now? It yeah. doesn't, like, it doesn't bother me. Okay. It's just like. But there isn't really an answer. Yeah, it's sort of, we'll see. It's ah, always like, who knows what. We'll see, you guys. Yeah. It's not a definitive well, no. I mean, I guess that no, is yeah. kind of somewhat of an answer. Yeah. If it happens, like, it happens. No, we could even pursue it it's more we always say like let's see what happens with this current child ah uh, like mm-hmm. we have got to see how it changes the, ident- the, the dynamic. dynamic we have to see At the like hospital. <laughs> we just have to see like what this child will need and what our family will need in that time before we make that decision got yeah. it but we love having children mm-hmm. and yeah. We would be. Also- I'm glad you do because you're about to have your fifth. So I'm glad you like having <laughs> really do this a lot. Um, so like we'd be really happy, I think, if that was to work out. But at the same time, it's like, and then how does my body handle having this childbirth? Like you never know oh, yeah. physically how it's gonna, how you're gonna respond. If your body is like, this one's the right. last one. All right, I get you. Right. I get we'll you. See. But I will say this pregnancy was shockingly better than a whole bunch. It's like shockingly because I'm. 36 now is which geriatric which is geriatric pregnancy in the United States of America I'm learning um, about pregnancies every day <laughs> yeah but I'm 36 which is considered like it's the it's obviously the oldest I've ever been in any of my pregnancies what <laughs> shocking um <laughs> but <laughs> So we haven't, the oldest you've ever been to? Yeah, we haven't found that hole in the time space <laughs> continuum yeah but like this pregnancy was by far my body handled it better than my last two pregnancies. Mm, okay. And there's nothing that makes sense about that. It's not like I was like, yeah, well, I've been working out a whole bunch beforehand. Or like, I mean, I was going to. Hey, you had a trampoline. I did have a trampoline. <laughs> but um, I was going to a physical therapist and a chiropractor. So I was doing more so no care things there. that could have possibly not well, contributed. Except all the things saying, she did. I do think that that helped absolutely a lot. But I think it's interesting that it helped as much as it did because mm-hmm. it like made such a difference. And um, I was surprised because even my doctor after my last pregnancy was like, well, just so you know, things are going to be harder for you in the next pregnancy. And it wasn't like it, oh, okay. it wasn't at all. So I, I thought that was kind of surprising. Yeah, that's cool, though. Yeah. Way to do it, body. Yeah. All right. That's all the questions, the topics and games I have today. Uh, you guys want to plug your stuff? Where should where can they find you on all the different places? Go for it. You start all right, on YouTube. Christopher, you're so ready. Uh, yes, we are Ballinger Family on YouTube. Where they do a vlog channel and other little thingies with their whole family. Yeah, that's a lot of parenting advice lately because that's the, the, the headspace we're in right uh, now. Yeah, but Christopher also has another channel called Gifted Guitars. Yes, I build guitars for people in my life and I'm about to start my second guitar on the channel. Okay. And that's And realize how many car- guitars have you worked on? I am working on number three and four simultaneously right now. Love that. And then you guys are also on Twitch, Ballinger Family. Yeah. And then you're Ballinger Family on Twitter. Twitter Jessica yeah. is Ballinger Mom on Twitter. What are you guys on Instagram? I think Our I'm Chris Ballinger and Jessica she's Ballinger. Jessica Ballinger. Love that. I don't know where else you guys are. You anywhere else? Do you do I TikTok? I don't know, but I'm sure we have different names wherever we are. Yeah. <laughs> Great <laughs> consistency, y'all. Good job. <laughs> I like to keep people guessing. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all the time for Rehab. Have a tap, 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 a doo, doo. I love you guys. Uh, thank you, Parallax, for sponsoring this video or podcast. I'm so tired. It's bedtime. Uh, see you next time on All Things Internet. Hold up. 